TK-nya aja masih sulit lah. Okay. That's not the main part of it. This one. <coughs> Oh. The the profile, the dimension, the profile of the uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in this case, before you you use this one in in uh, in Tecla, you must clean it up. So let's say here. So this one is already scaled. Nine meet nine meters, huh? Yes. This is nine nine meter, huh? It's it's okay. Oh this one is in meter. So units need to change this one to eh inches. Millimeter. really expert in, in AutoCAD but uh, so. Hey. so the first thing is of course you need to clean up this um, Explode, maybe explode. Okay. And then uh, this one. This one is not. What? What? This one is the uh, the yeah, hole. Inner. Yeah. Inner. And what is this? Is it? Uh, it's the hole. Another hole. Another hole. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, actually, it's the the bare segment is solid, but it's a little hole on there. Ah, okay. Yeah. What, what is this line? Uh, it's not used. <laughs> it's not used. Uh, yeah. Okay. Only on AJ. Bare segment. Ah. Huh? to make it sure that this one is clean up okay but of course um, I, I still uh, with you with a parametric cross-section because in that case you can easily change but this one is just something like a quick one all right so uh, <coughs> what happened here is uh, I, I can still explode this one because I don't want any polyline to be used here Exploded, right? What is this? Any other thing? Okay, nothing. All right, <coughs> but the, again, the the problem is my scale. If that one is already okay, if it is nine meter, how can I change this one to nine meter? Uh, 
uh, 9000 mm. Yeah, 9000 mm. How how to change that one? I don't know how to. Huh? What is that? Scale. Scale. Ah, scale. Scale times 9000. Yes. Ah, times 1000. 1000. Okay, yeah. That's correct. So the uh, the the units now is already millimeter. Okay, and then scale. Yeah, correct. I forgot that one. All right. So this one now is nine thousand. Yeah, nine thousand. Uh, this one, if if I, as I can see here, this one is cut here. So the, this one is is it straight or there's a slope? No, it's straight. So if it is straight. Center line. Yeah, center line. Symmetric. Symmetric. Yeah. yeah. So I will. I, no need for us to make it. Okay. And then here. Just want to check if there's something missing. Okay. No. So now I will extend this one. All right. And then I'm going to save it as uh Okay, I'm going to save this one as Adi. Adi. Is that correct, Adi? Adi. 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 So now this is my uh, th this is the profile, right? Okay. So I will do this one. So in here, if I want to to use that profile, because the good thing with the with the profile also, um, in in application and component, you can type you can type here DWG DWG. So this one is. The uh, drawing profile to library, so it will save in the in my library. Okay, so just double click on this one, and then here parameter. I need to get that file. This Adi. Okay, click OK, and then you can now type the <coughs> the name. Okay, so what is the section name? The section name is let's say. Uh, okay, let's say PS. And then this one is uh, PS PS nine thousand. Okay, and then the profile. This one should be question mark because the, it's not, it's not available here. Then question mark. We don't know what's the profile type. Okay, apply and okay. So usually three thousand is the length. Three thousand. So nine thousand by three thousand. Okay. So just uh, click on this one, and you have already the the profile. So this is the profile now that you are going to that you are going to use. Okay. So here you can uh, you can see here the profile now is PS pure segment nine thousand, and this one is a fixed profile. Fix. If you see that this one is blue, then it's fixed. If it is color. Uh, Orange. It means that's parametric, the one that you're do, you using, doing, or yeah, doing. So now, with this profile now, I can just simply. Uh, ah, it's recorded. Yeah. Now, in this case, uh, if you uh, let's say I'll, I'll change the this one to. So in the case that you want to, uh, okay. By the way, this one should be material should be uh, C forty, C forty, okay. 
So, in the case that you want to, to have a, a curved one, so you can just simply click here, let's say one, and then uh, two. I don't know if this one works. Uh, no, it doesn't work because that one is, of course, that one is too too small. So maybe, maybe the uh, the one work will be from here to, let's say, thirty thousand, and then this one is one hundred eighty thousand, and then this one could be ten thousand. Something like that. But you don't do this one because this one is a one one hole. So you need to do the uh, the segmented. So if, if it is a segmented, of course, um, you can do something like uh, okay here. You have this uh, construction circle. Hold on. Construction circle. This one. So let's say from here to here. You have this. Uh, you have this circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if that one is the segment, then you you must you must do this. Uh, so let's say from here, one. Uh, if that one is three thousand, let's say somewhere here. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So one, two. Three. So this one is a segment. So here, I think no need for you to make this one like round. Okay, if you want, you can make that one as uh, as round. Okay, so you you do you do it that way. So let's say here poly beam. So one, two, three. Okay, and then here modify and then it will be fit so that's how you make it as a segmented so it's even even it's segmented but you need to to pick one two three so that you can make it a little bit curved i know that the curve is very minimal especially if this one is big it's very minimal but still we still need to do that one okay so there you go and yeah so now here do you have any any more question on this mm. how about the the uh, how about this we have a segment but yeah, we have this, uh, uh, expansion joint segment the the front is uh, the different yeah, there is a different different dimension, and on one profile. One not, profile. Not, not like that, but uh, but like this. No, it's uh, I think it's like this. Can you can you draw? Yeah, yeah. 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 I will draw it. First on first on the on this side. Like this, but uh, Freddy, but somehow uh, it changed. It changed. Uh, the, the dimension is changed like this. Mm -hmm. And then the and then we have okay. and then we have the slab. The, the top side of the box here also changed like this. It's more difficult. I think. Can, what, what is the section of that one? But this, uh, this one like this. Can I uh, use the... No. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. 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 <laughs> show that? <laughs> Okay. 
So this is the profile that we have. Okay. Now, if you, if I go to this, let's say this this one is the the uh, the main cut. Okay. Leave it as it is because part of this one is already cut, but this one I have a bigger cut here. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So we need to. So you, we, we still need to use the, the smaller cut, okay? So in that case, we can just simply uh, create 2D drawing, uh, uh, yeah, 2D view, and then I will go through this one and this one. Why? Because here, I can have a let's say two cuts so here in this case what I'm going to do is um, edit polygon cut like what I've said mm -hmm. I may not be in, in that same yeah. same uh, size but here I will click on this one and then here one two three four five and then six so it's cut the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. But as you know, in this cut, I can change this one to zero and then front modify or behind modify. Okay. So in that case, here, I can use now the dimension. Let's say that this dimension is BL1200. Modify. So now I have this. Mm -hmm. I have this cut. <coughs> so you can put another cut, which is something like uh, here. Maybe I have a uh, a uh, bigger cut, or yeah. So basically, maybe I will just uh, uh, I will have another uh, cut, polygon cut. So let's say this one one. Two, three, four, five, and then six, and then this one again. This this one, and then front or behind, and then this time this one is only five hundred. Modify. Okay. If you want to make this one curve, also can. Here. I just change this one to let's say 200 modify <coughs> this one 200 modify also this make it yeah make make a champer modify and now what I have here is this layer of cuts <laughs> We first we use uh, we make the profile using this. Yeah, it's the same, same. Same that like that, but use the smaller hole. But yeah, after that we you cut, cut you cut you cut that one correct, mm -hmm. All right? So now there's another thing that uh, you may you may use this one because I can see there's a slope. This one I don't have the slope, but uh, okay. Let me just uh, think. Um, how can we put the slope? Because the slope can be done as well. Uh, I'm just thinking. Um, right? You know how you know how to create the. Uh, uh, you know how to create this. Uh, hey, sketch parametric, right? Mm -hmm. You know how to create that one. Actually, you can create the sketch parametric and then do the slope here. I, I'll I'll give I'll show you. Huh? Okay. Let's say for example in this. Uh, in this, uh, okay, here, I think you have something like here, there is a slope here. Yes. yes. Correct? Yeah. So right. I can use a uh, sketch parametric to do that one, since you know that one already. But um, in sketch parametric, we can create a variable section. A what? Variable. Vari in oh, sketch parametric. Uh, in sketch parametric, it's a straight one, right? Yes. Yeah. If you want to make it tapered, tapered, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. tapered, yeah, yeah. right? Yes, I know. We call it variable cross section. Right. So sketch parametric plus variable cross section, then we will able to cut this one with a part cut. Because this one, what I've used here is polygon cut. 
there is an option to part cut. So we model that one first and then we cut it. Okay, so, um, okay, quickly, I'm going to do the uh, catalog, define cross section, and then here. Okay, so I will uh, quickly. Okay, I'll quickly sketch that one. Again, I will just simply sketch it. Okay, so let's say this one is a sketch and then... Uh, I'm not sure, this one is three... This one is three thousand. I think this one is enough, but just to show you the uh, um, maybe I'll make it no need for me to put a uh, the value. So here again, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then this one is coincide, and then this should be straight, and then here I have this dimension. So two one, I can change this one to two thousand. Okay, it's going there. So now. Um, I'll save this one as uh, PS cut. Okay, so I have now the two one, two one, two one. Okay, two one. So from here, I'll just remove this one. Okay, so now, um, let me just uh, get this. Uh, beam then ps ps cut 2000 ps cut 2000 okay okay <coughs> ah yeah 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 sorry 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 so <coughs> i need to I need to sh show that one in the uh, catalog, profile catalog, and then here, PS cut. Uh, edit. So I need to show this one. Sorry. Okay. Alright, so now it's PS cut 2000. So PS cut 2000 is this. Right, but I need to have a variable. So in that case, I can now go back to my catalog, define profile. Usually, you use this one, right? Yeah. Have you tried to use this? Um, Not yet. I think we have used. Uh, I think I. During the training. Yeah. During the training. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So here, yeah. Of course, you, uh, this one I can now use the PS cut. Okay, so click the PS cut, and then click OK. So now I have this. I have this uh, PS cut. So PS cut. If you notice here, I have, uh, I have this uh, H one, and then I have this uh, PS cut one, PS cut two. Okay, cut one, yeah. cut two. So in that case. If I want to have a, a tapered one, so PS cut one is 2000 and then the tapered one is let's say one nine. Mm -hmm. But um, the section that you showed me is something like straight and then tapered. Yeah. So it means I need to have PS cut one, yes. two and three, three section. So I need to add, I need to add <coughs> another variable uh, here, another cut here. So H1, uh, uh, cut one, cut two, and then cut three. Now look, if I click this one, that is the that is the point. 
if I click this two, it's also the end. But basically, this three, it should be at the middle, or the two should be at the middle, three at the end. So remember, if you look onto this one, location zero to one. So there's no exact dimension for that one. Zero to one. So what it will what will be the middle? 0.5 so the other one this p2 location i need to put this one as 0.5 or whatever uh, distance is that one okay so let's say for example the cut length is 100 and then 50 is the variation here so it's 0.5 if the cut length is uh, uh, 200 and then or let's say if the cut length is 150 and then one third of 150 is 50 then it's 0.75 Correct? So now it's 0.5. So look, if I select this one, so it's at the center now. Right? So the center will be 2,000, 2,000, and then the P3 will be, let's say, I will exaggerate. Let's say 1,7. Okay? And then I'm going to save us. PS cut tapered double T click OK and then close and then say yes so PS cut here so what I'm going to do here now is click on this one and then look for that PS cut this one apply and OK and then I'm going to pick this one one let's say let's say 400 and here I can just simply edit part cut click so there will be a uh, wait wait huh Yeah, correct. Because of because of that one, that cut. <coughs> okay, so you can you can do the precise one yeah. later, but using that variable. Okay, but yeah. if you don't want to use that variable, then find out some other cutting option to cut that one on the street. Or, or you can uh, you can cut. Uh, sorry, yeah. Can I, can I use this one? Is this <laughs> so the the other way is if this one is cut cut like this, right? So you can cut this one, also cut here, and then here. Now, if this one is something like you need to have a uh, cut here, okay? Actually, you can cut total here, and then here you can add a additional material. That's another way. And then this one add to cast unit. Or add to material also. Huh? So it's either you cut totally or you cut you cut this one straight and then you create a uh, triangle concrete and then add to cast unit. That's also the same output. <coughs> Okay, so again, uh, there are uh, different ways to do that one, but of course, uh, it's your choice or uh, you can see what, what is the best uh, application for that. If I move that one a little bit there. Yeah, so... So that that cut because it, it's not in the same uh, same line, but this this what will happen, okay? All right. So, any question from the geometry <coughs> before we move on to the any other question? Okay. Um, 
another thing that I can see is um, you have something like a group joint, right? A group. Uh, you're using version 2018, right? Okay. Um, here in in 2018, have you have you see this uh, geometry detailing strip? Let's see. Geometry strip. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. So this one, you can also use this one to to do the cutting. So let's say this one, this surface. If I click this surface and then click on this. you can you can use this uh you can use this cutting okay let's say for example okay the cutting is quite maybe is quite small so let's say i'll just make this one as a uh, 200 a is 200 c is let's say uh 50 modify and then let's say this one is uh 40 40 modify something like this it may it may use it may be useful it may be not but I'm just showing you mm -hmm. some uh, example and then let's say if I want to have this uh, let's say uh, 300 and then 300 and then modify oh sorry mm -hmm. maybe this one is 500 modify something like this okay and the other thing is if you want this this group if you want to have a protrude here I have the option here to use this and then modify so it's so no need for you to I mean modeling wise it's there you just add that one to the part okay so it could be useful for you or it could be not but I'm just showing the uh, the option because here after this you can just simply right click and then explode the component and then do the cutting so here I can just simply uh, cut this one Ah, sorry. Uh, I don't know why. Nine cut. Something like this. I can. Uh, no, no. Maybe you need to go to the correct uh, uh, view, and then you can cut that one accordingly. Okay. But again, it's it's an option. Shirky, yeah, the shirky, shirky. Yeah. So, what, what, uh, uh, how do you do the shirky? You use the profile? Uh, I, I think we, uh, I haven't used that before. I haven't used the shirky for detailing of the video. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not yet. Yeah, because uh, actually here it, it enabled for you to to put that one. You can use a pyramid profile. So pyramid profile is like this. Um, let's say here, beam. Okay, so from here, you can see here. You type here pyramid, P R M D, P R M D filter this one you can use this so with with this one you can specify the 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 height let's say this one is uh, let's say the uh, height is 500 and then this one the uh, the edge 500 and then the edge 2 is let's say uh, uh, 400 and then this one is uh, uh, 250 and then this one is 150 so apply and okay so here all you have to do is to uh, pick one two and then here you have this uh, move yeah. <coughs> so let's say this one is your shear key then uh, you move here and then you move somewhere somewhere here yeah and then you can copy
so you can copy like this okay or on the other hand if you uh, if you want to uh, to use this one to uh, to cut you can also use this one let's say I, I copy this one copy so from from here to here So this one you can now ah sorry because this one is slant so it cannot be seen so I'll just move this one a little bit let's say 20 move. Move. just an example so here you can now uh, part cut so click here something like this okay so you can use that pyramid pyramid part okay so now uh, can we go to the uh, reinforcement okay so for the reinforcement uh, you mentioned that you are using this rebar right mm -hmm. have you used this rebar set not yet, not yet. Okay, good, because I ca I have something to show you, but here, okay, so this, <laughs> okay, so this bar group, of course, something like if you click this one, one, then a two, uh, three, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, middle button of your mouse, and then click one, two, so that's how you add mm -hmm. the reinforcement, right? Yeah. Is it is it easy? Mm -hmm. Also easy, right? Because uh, in AutoCAD you also do that one. But the good thing here is uh, you can easily uh, inquire and then you get the bar the total length already. You don't need to calculate. So even that one. But uh, I, I'll give you a uh, especially in this kind of uh, okay. What happened? Especially in this kind of. Uh, shape okay you add the reinforcement then it's much better if you are going to use the rebar set okay how the rebar set works okay i don't know why um, why suddenly it changed the color maybe i'll change this one to yellow all right so now rebar set um okay let me check how you add the reinforcement wow <laughs> okay all right okay i meant i may not go through this one but uh, i will show you a tool that helps you okay all right so here let's say let's say the shape first the shape uh if you go to this rebar set i have this uh uh crossing area okay here you can specify the size let's say uh 20 say color okay the target 2200 so look if you if i go through this one see that is the shape right mm -hmm. that's the shape if i put my cursor you can see you can see the shape of the uh yeah. of the concrete right so it's it's a matter of clicking the right contour mm -hmm. so let's say i'll start with this one click once i click then i need to specify i need to click what leg should i add earlier earlier i've shown you I click and then one two three four <laughs> five six seven and so on and then the range in this case let's say I click this one ship this one ship this one ship 
shape so i click that that shape okay and then middle button of my mouse magic it's not a magic actually it's something like i click the leg because this new tool can easily give you the uh, the reinforcement according to the shape not like earlier i need to pick one two three four okay and then pick the range where it will go but in this case so here let's say an, another click and then this time this one middle button of your mouse then i have that one or i can use a planner bar planner is this one this if i click the surface look at the surface so if i click that one there you go but if i click this one here i select this create both axis x and y look what will happen click this one and then see click i have already the mesh so similar to this in one click then i have that one much easier right but of course you still need to do some work on that one it's not like a simple click of a button and then that's what you have yeah, of course they need still this one need to operate by an engineer that knows what he's doing it's not something like hey, you click that one and that's it but mm -hmm. what i'm showing you the, my point is this tool can easily help you to uh, to to model okay now uh okay so what if in this case here i want to have a splice so i will use this direct modification and then click on this one so here you can see that i have this uh add splitter because maybe that one is too much i mean more than 12 meter right so i need to splice that one in half or <coughs> look if i click add splitter so here i can click here on the middle click look splice and then again let's see if i click here i don't know what will happen and but it's quite good and how about here if i click here what will happen which is the normal one not not, not the normal one okay maybe <laughs> sorry because uh, in some other case they they uh, they said this one is the normal but anyway if that one is the case then then don't don't do that one and then maybe somewhere click somewhere here like this is this the normal one okay so this is the no sorry sorry about that one because there are some case that let's say uh, in in foundation they they want to have a uh, overlapping on that, yeah, cross section. But okay, so if that one is not the normal, then you click somewhere here, okay. all right, and then here, click, and then you have now this cross section. Uh, so now you have the the rib. Okay, how about the longitudinal bar, right? Longitudinal bar, same thing. Here, create create longitudinal bar. Okay, if I click on this one. So I, I need to get again this this one. So here, click. So no need for the, the top. But this one, I need this one. This one. Pressing control. This one. And this one. And then middle button of your mouse. And then I have already the... Now, look, what if this one is at the bottom? Do you need to create this one? No need. Here, can you see this one? Layer number. If I click this bottom, it will go to the... Hey, what is that one? Maybe not this one. Maybe this one. Let's see. Uh, not sure about this. Mm, not working on that one maybe before splitting you can you can do that one before slip splitting because it looks like that it doesn't work on the the splitting because here okay let's say that this one bottom nope wait ah 
no not, not this one okay maybe I'll, I'll try here I'll try to add the uh, cross section here because this one it should be doing this one and then here longitudinal okay and then this time okay here up why that doesn't go up ah yeah yeah <coughs> so it, you can you can go up and then now you can try to to split on that one okay and maybe what how about inside so let's try let's say uh, create here okay if you notice here if I click uh, what is this so it will create something like like that reinforcement okay but because that one is uh, uh, follow the shape and then but no worry because here in this case this one if you notice here you can pull this one to make it straight see I can make it straight even though that one is uh, uh, what do you call that it, because it follow the slope mm -hmm. so but you can still <coughs> here here you can even you can see you can have something like that so there's a there's a lot of option here right okay so any any question on on this one on the rebar set by the way um, maybe I will leave you a uh, PowerPoint I will leave you a PowerPoint how how to deal with this uh, rebar set since you haven't seen that one I have already I have I have this uh, PowerPoint here with me um, I think it's here <coughs> yeah so this one rebar set how to use the river how what is the concept between the the river set so here you can see that uh, how to add this see even look at this one so this one it will uh, tell you the fundamentals just there's a video on this one how to add then uh, you can uh, try to practice on this even some leg faces so this one it, it will explain what is the uh, crossing bar longitudinal bar and so on even this one so here and also it will tell you what are the uh, limitation of course there's some limitation on this one um, we're not telling that this one is 100 percent but of course it will it will also help you okay and this one is the uh, bar bending schedule as well. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Yeah. I want to ask if for the size case before mm -hmm. that you already the uh, separation. I yeah. want to ask if for this case the the leg splice is in one line. Yeah. But I have some case be, uh, for the leg splice is staggered. In, not in one line. It's so staggered. Here and then here. Yes. Here and here. Okay. <laughs> um Okay, let's see. Tapi ada ada polanya nggak? Biasanya ada. Ada. Biasanya kalau bisa digambar. So usually they make the last part is like this. If you use this for this one is uh, this one like this, mm -hmm. and then you continue with this one. For this like this. Mm -hmm. So the last part is 
Ikan yang lain biasa. Okay, yeah, it's tiger. Yeah, it's tiger. Hmm. It's tiger. Ini spesies nggak sih? Bukan tiga gitu kan? Iya. Yeah. Yeah. Tapi bukan bukan uh, orang lain. <laughs> no. Actually, um, okay. Um, I haven't seen that one yet. I, I mean, I, I mean to tell you frankly, I I don't know yet here, but uh, I can I can look. I can look onto that one. How to the? But uh, at the moment, uh, at the moment, what I can see is, let's say, for example, this one. Okay, I'll just delete some other, uh, just to to make it uh, more clear. Huh? As I can see, is this? Um, <coughs> uh, at the moment, <coughs> I think there is a way to do that one. But uh, I have I need to to check. But uh, what I can show you first is let's say this one. Sorry. Mm. Rebar set. So let's say I'm going to change this one to uh, mm, 400. Okay. So let's say this one. And this one, okay. So this one is 400, and then here I'm going to add again. So I have two sets here. So these two sets, I'm going to uh, move it. So I have two sets. So again, what I'm telling you, I'm not telling that it's not possible here, but at the moment I, I still don't know. I need to check. I think it's possible, but I need to find out where, to, wh what, what is that option, okay? But this one is the workaround to get that. So let's say, for example, here, I select the first one and then click on this and then sp add splitter. So add splitter somewhere here. Okay, and then the other one, select this, and then add splitter, mm -hmm. and then I will click here. So now, you have a staggered... That, this one is just a workaround, but I know, I know that this one may, may have an uh, uh, answer already from, from here, from here, because uh, I haven't go through that, that one, but... Uh, once I find out, then I will uh, maybe I will create a video and then send it to you. Okay, but for the meantime, you can do, you can do. But maybe it's not that shortcut in one click, so it will be uh, two, 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 two clicks or two procedure. Okay, but it can be done. But if you are, uh, okay, here may not, but. If you have a this lab, okay, I'm because they're using this this one, right? You're using this here. There is an there is an automatic splicing tool. So here, if I have one, two, three. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. One. Okay. So here, if you notice, this one is twelve more than twelve meter. Okay. Now, in uh, in Tecla structure, if you type here splice, there is a automatic splicing tool. Okay, automatic splicing tool. So this one, let's say I want to cut this one into six meter. The available size is six meter length. Okay. So what I will have is select this one and then, sorry, selected. So I have twelve size twelve fifteen thousand. So I need to divide that one. So here in this case, you can see how you want to splice here staggered. Okay, so you can choose 
and then all you have to do is just simply perform split to select that then click so now automatically the system will splice that one so look it's staggered this one and then this one and then this one so that one is the automatic splicing tools now uh, if you ask about the uh, the rebar set then I have I need to find out where can we set that one. okay Okay, any Tendon hole. Uh, yeah. The the ducting of the tendon. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, <coughs> usually when when the when the reinforcement meets the tendons, the hole tendon <coughs> is usually uh, used to to the cut and to bend like that. So uh, it's if it's possible to use the reverse or we can use the manual. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, sorry, I cannot figure out. W uh, can can you show me the the situation? <coughs> Do you have a? Uh, uh, you, you, we can use that the drawing. Okay. The, the AutoCAD drawing. Yeah. So, mm. so the shape is like uh, yeah like that. It's the whole of the uh, it's the whole of the uh, post tensioning tendons. This one. Yeah. So when the that's then it the, uh, that's the then it will bend here. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. It will cut and bend. <coughs> okay, yeah. Actually, rebar set can be used. Okay, okay. Let me just. Uh, okay, e, the good thing with the with the rebar set. Okay, let's say here I have this uh, uh, planner. Okay this one so because this one is not cut okay it will show that something like that. okay undo uh, rebar set planner I'll put here 100 maybe 150 right like this mm -hmm. right so in this case let me just uh, uh, create uh, create default views and then I will use this one here okay actually this one is in the video that I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to give you later okay so here uh, if I may mm, I think uh, it's, it should be in a polygon so you will notice here now now you can cut you can cut now the the rebar you can now cut the rebar not like before you cannot do this one in the manual you cannot do this you need to model the rebar up to up to here only okay but now you can cut okay and also um, part cut select this one and then cut so now if I have a tendon that you are saying that 
let's say I have the polygon cut. Just an example, ah. One. Polygon. Okay, so in this case, <coughs> I may need to do the part cut. Okay. Now, your question is this one, how to bend this? Uh, okay, uh, again, here, let me just see. I'm not very... If I can secondary guideline, no, 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 no not this one. Mm. No, that one is a splitter. There's a way to do this one. Add detail. Ah, yeah. See, something like that. Yes. Mm. Yes. What? Well, yes. <coughs> huh? What we can use? Sorry. Again, select this one, and then here, add and detail modifier. I don't know how, <laughs> how this, how that did I create that one? Okay. Maybe using the property. Ah, okay. So here. Yeah, something like that. So you need to, you need to here. Okay, again. Uh, select this one and then. Uh, click here, so you need to click this two, and then middle button of mouse. So again, select this two, click this, and then pick this middle button of your mouse. I'm also surprised that I can do that one. <laughs> yes, yes, I can do it. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> No, but I, I've seen that in, in the video, it's, uh, I saw that one, but not, not like this. But anyway, it's, uh, it's good that uh, you ask. All right. And yeah, that's, that's the good thing, that you can cut, you can cut it. In, uh, in the previous one, here, using this, uh, using this old one, no way. You need to model it. You need to model it. Up to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now I can do that one here. Sorry, I want to do it again. <laughs> be be before, before I forget. <laughs> so one, two, middle button. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I I uh, I give some tips to help you. Yeah. So uh, any anything else? Dari sisi detailing mungkin ada lagi apa yang bagus? How to how to how to make the cutting? Perlu nggak? Cuttingnya yang tapi curve curve. Boleh bisa. Ah, you, you you mean the, the <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no problem. Uh, okay. uh, actually, there's some case that we have a box get. Uh, I think it's not about detailing, about the river detailing, but uh, I forgot to ask this uh, in the in the mm -hmm. geometry mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. uh, we have yeah. some in, in some case we have uh, a box getter 
Uh, yeah. So, uh, this is the long profile of mm. the box skater. So we, uh, so we have this. Uh, usually, the box skater, the shape like this, mm. segmented. The segment one, mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot like this. But in some case, we have this. So mm. the the bottom of the box skater is tapered like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we we usually meet this case in balance cantilever bridge. Uh, we use a box skater like this. How we can <coughs> make it? Okay. Um, I don't know if you know the software called Rhino. Mm. Uh, the right now. Yeah, there's a, there's a software called Rhino. Actually, one of our client in in Malaysia is using Rhino, and then uh, Rhino is something like they, you can model a different shape. Any shape you can model, any any uh, what do you call that uh, complicated shape you can model. But they use that one specially for for this project. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the. The video they created, but uh, enabled for you to use Rhino inside Tecla structure. Okay, Rhino Tecla structure to connect these two. There is a there is a link named Grasshopper. Grasshopper. I don't know what uh, what is Grasshopper in balang, Indonesia. Balang. 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 Ah, not balang. Because in Philippines it we call it balang. Balang. <coughs> Here is balang. Balang. Okay, we call it balang. Okay, so that grasshopper is the link between the Rhino and Tecla. So whatever you model in, in, in Rhino, it will automatically go to Tecla, even with the reinforcement. But uh, the thing is, uh, I don't know if, that w if, if there's some uh, agent here in for, for Rhino, but, but what I will do is, uh, um, let me check if I can get a, uh, a video on how they use it, because they, they do a lot of this thing, like what you're doing. So, because it's not good that okay, you always uh, have a difficulties to to model that one. Wherein uh, there is a software that can really help you to to model that one easily. Yeah, actually, Rhino, you can go to the website. They will give you sixty days mm, free. for free. Yeah, uh, you type Rhino R R H R R H I N O. It's a rhinoceros, you know the okay. the animal, the uh, yeah. rhinoceros. So you can you can download that one, and then you you go to our website in warehouse. There is a grasshopper. Yes. That one is the link. The now, the yeah, in the warehouse there is a grasshopper. Now uh, I will I, I I recommend you to since you're doing this kind of uh, work, that one is the <coughs> best uh, way to do. So this rhino, sixty days. Then how many of you just just uh, you just go to the different, email different email. computer, different email? <laughs> no. Then you can you can work. So no need for you to to pay for that one. Okay, but uh, okay. Uh, going back to this, um, that one also possible. Okay, that one is also possible, provided. Let's say for example this one. Okay, let me just do it here. Huh? Since uh, in this case, maybe what you can do is uh, you have a common line here, common line here, and then what you can do is, but, but is the uh, is the hole is, is straight on that one or also it's curved? The hole. Okay, let me just. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, because this one, right? It's like yes. this, right? Yes. So, is the hole is also here, or the yeah. hole is straight? Straight. Straight. straight, straight, straight. So it's even perfect because yeah. what you will do is similar to what I have done earlier. So what you will do is you will create uh, this size, this size of the segment, okay, and then model that one. And then cut it. <laughs> as simple as that. Okay, I, I will show it to you. I will, I will, I will show it to you. <coughs> 
so here because the okay maybe I will just uh, this hole uh, so I will uh, use the uh, what PS9 okay so one that's enough okay so in this case I'm going to okay uh, forget about the hole okay or maybe if I if I go to the view here this one forget about the hola huh? so what you will do is just simply uh, edit polygon cut I'll select all and let's say here one two three like this <coughs> or if, if you if you want you can just simply move everything so you have same but like, like what I've said it's good that to know that the hole is straight because if not then you have to do something else also in the inside that you need to make it part similar to the palm okay but this is the way to do it okay so I think we are going to output output yeah, okay drawing and then report Okay, for the drawing, um, okay, so create cast unit drawing. So I don't have the setting yet, huh? But basically, you can you can create the setting in the drawing. What whatever uh, what? Tapi yang CM nggak bisa perform numbering ya, pak? Iya. Nggak bisa. Nggak bisa di sini. Perform numbering bisa? Nggak. Numbering sama create create apa namanya create drawing kan nggak bisa. Limitasinya kan di situ. Report report itu nggak bisa. Report doang bisa drawing nggak bisa. Karena kalau perlunya hanya untuk modelingnya ya. Oke. Jadi drawingnya di sini semua. <laughs> okay, so this one looks like it, it gives me the A0. <laughs> okay, so here you have this. Uh, because I, I put undefined because I did not change the uh, the T, but you can uh, you can do that one here. So let's say for example uh, here, okay. So you have now um, here if you notice here, you have all this this marking right. So this marking, if you notice, it's it's now properly aligned, okay. But if you want to make this one more aligned, and then you can use this one align mark. Something like this. Especially if this one, if if the, sometimes there are uh, marking like this, right? Here you can select and then arrange mark and then align. Okay, so for the drawing, it it really it really helps on that one. So to change, I, I don't know to change that one to color just press B okay so actually it's okay I mean the uh, the this one is most mostly it's uh, 
it's an, in the nice position. All you have to do is maybe <coughs> pull that one a little bit, and then you can see where it will uh, the the dimension will will come. Now, um, wh what do you want to uh, see in the uh, in the uh, drawing? Okay, the drawing is this one. See, this one is the bar bending schedule. But the bar bending schedule is something like uh, I mean we can we can modify that one according to what you have because as I can see you have the bar mark the size the quantity the, sketch, the length the, the sketch of the bar huh the sketch of the the, pro, the profile of the bar the prof yeah. you mean the the bending like yeah. that yeah we can shape. yeah we shape can uh, uh -huh. the shape code okay uh, you mean like the, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we can integrate that one inside your. Uh, we can integrate this one inside your your tecla structure, because what happened here, if you if you want to put all this uh, rebar shape here, mm -hmm. what happened? It will be full like what you showed me one drawing only, yeah. rebar. So we can do that one. So what you can do is just simply uh, put this one aside. So just create one drawing. One drawing is without the bar bending schedule. The other drawing is you copy it and then you put this one aside. So this one, you just put that one outside. And then the rebar will be here. Mm -hmm. Okay? We can set that one. But uh, be before that one, then maybe, do you have any... Uh, Okay, any question on this one? Let, let's say, for example, this this one. If you want to uh, to show the full reinforcement here, because what happened here, it shows only the middle. So in this case, you just simply click reinforcement, and then here, make it double line, and then all. Oh. No, I think uh, there. No, no, I, no, no. It's okay. There's some problem in my. Okay, so here, first and last, I will put all and then modify. So this one will change to similar to your drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So now here you can see that uh, you can have the you can you can see the the full the full drawing. Yeah. But of course, this one you cannot do anything about it, but. The good thing is you don't need to this one you don't need to type in the uh, the properties or the call out because each and every here you can just simply add part mark and then reinforcement mark and then it will Ah it's already there so there you go now also the good thing here in version 2018 the good thing is this okay let's say i delete all this piece all, i delete the the mark right this mark so here in this you have this drawing content manager wherein if i click show okay i'll show all the reinforcement here these are all the reinforcement in the drawing look if I click this one it will highlight see it highlights mm. so if I click this one it highlights so let's say this one so right click you can see add part mark and then dimension mark so it it will give me the dimension uh. <coughs> or select this one select this one right click add reinforcement mark then I have this reinforcement mark so I can easily identify which one I want. So let's say I, I click this this one. Ah, okay. I think it, it it's it's the other way around. So you need to click on this one here. Okay, maybe. Yeah. So here it will it will highlight the re the rebar that I'm going to that I want to show here see
and then right click add reinforcement mark there you go now if i want to see the report the uh it i want to highlight the reinforcement mark then click here okay sorry so here if i want to highlight the reinforcement mark then just simply click here see it will highlight the reinforcement mark and then here you can see the the mark quantity let's say i have seven views but only in three views there is a marking okay but i mean if there if you find out that there is a zero here it means that piece mark doesn't have the marking so you can just simply add the marking because if not then remember this one there's a lot of reinforcement if you don't have this one how can you check if this reinforcement has the marking or not right but here you can see you can easily see if the mark quantity is zero it means this rebar doesn't have any marking okay so it, this one it's it also helped us Okay, now can we go through the uh, to the bar bending schedule quickly, uh, or you have uh, any other uh, question? question? Yeah. Uh, so my question is the in in that drawing, mm -hmm. in the drawing that I show you, the uh, I cannot, can you zoom in the the that one that <coughs> so the this that undefined so uh, that that undefined uh, the writing is undefined right mm -hmm. so. Uh, in the drawing, usually we use the the name of the rebar, what? to the name of the rebar. So if the rebar code is T five, so it shows that the the rebar name is T five like that. The mark. The marking. T. T five. Uh, no, the T five is uh, the T five is the code of the rebar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So T is the grade. No, 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 no. It's the grid. No, no, not the grid. But this, it's the name of the rebar. The so name of the rebar. The may I? May I? Uh, <coughs> so this one is H two A. H two H two A is the name of the rebar of this rebar. Okay. The name of this rebar. Yeah. So, uh, what I want to ask you that how we can show yeah. that one. Okay. H two A is the name. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically here, uh, I did not put the name, huh? but uh, okay, I will just close this one. Let me check what is the name. Huh? So, so here, if you look onto this one, so the name is, let's say, H2A, modify, and then this one is H2B modify okay and then here I then un unidentified maybe I'll just simply select all and then I will just uh, sorry rebar the grade I'm going to change this one to R okay so that now I have a proper naming there so here if I open my my drawing numbering of course you need to do the run the numbering remember the h2a h2b <coughs> right so that one is the name so when you model the rebar you must put the name okay and then automatically that one will be in the drawing okay but at the moment in my setting the name is not part of it okay i, I will show you how to to, to to call that one so now it's it's R20 okay I need I don't I the uh, okay so you cannot see the the edge to one right okay right. <coughs> mm, oh, sorry oh, yeah see so I want to see where is edge to a here but H2A, H2B, right? I have already the H2A, H2B here. I can clearly see H2A, H2B. But here, it doesn't show the H2A, H2B. So how? <coughs> here, 
just double click on this properties and then there is a setting for the reinforcement mark on the reinforcement mark at the moment is grade diameter and position so I can just simply select let's say the, uh, the group also number so I will add the name this one move back and then I will add the text with a dash okay and then move down hey sorry move up hey where's the name did I delete yeah so there you go so I have name number and so on okay so now I'm going to modify this one I modify the whole uh, view and then now you can see that there is a name now rebar 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 now where is the h2 one h2b h2b where is the h2a select h2b h2a where is h2a h2a ah no not that one because i didn't put ah here h2a <coughs> So you can change that one in the reinforcement mark. So you can put whatever annotation you like. Now that's the good thing. You don't need to key in. Because you already did the modeling. That's why in the modeling, you put the effort in the modeling. In the drawing, it will be a chicken pin for you now. Yeah. No, because for, for the drawing, it's it's whatever you have in the, in the model. All you have to do <coughs> is to... Uh, for the annotation is to ex uh, what do you call that uh, extract you just need it's just an extraction but of course uh, um, yeah so in that case then maybe if you have some uh, uh, somebody who's dealing with the drawing then that guy can also do only the drawing part we have this something like uh, I don't know if that one is available yeah. here we have the drafter, uh, mm -hmm. what do you call that, drafter license. The guy will only do the, the drawing. So from the model, he will create the drawing and then <coughs> he will just do the annotation. Okay, any anything else? About the the template the, the, the template the template the the cop copy. Cop template. Cop draws the 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 title of the drawing uh, uh we can we can see the we, we can see the drawing the cop. Huh? Uh, that one. <coughs> this one? Yeah. Uh, you, you, you haven't done this one yet, huh? No. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Easy. We can copy this one. And then uh, new. Open. <coughs> Paste it here. Erase this one. Oh. Explode. Okay, so now the question is on what on what size of a drawing you want to use this one? A three. 
What's wrong? No, the 9 meter fit oh. in A3. Yeah, this guy is 450 by 297. Yeah, it's A3. So you want to fit that one in A3. So yeah. your drawing must be very small. Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it's okay. All right. So here I need to check if this one is what size. Three. Three. Um. Thirteen. So enable for me to to do the uh, two nine seven. So it will be uh, um, two nine seven divided by thirteen. So scale to twenty two. Okay. So. Okay, first is the units. I think this one still inches. And then scale. Select. 22. Alright, so this one is 306. Uh, maybe I will just uh, control. So, scale. Maybe 21. <coughs> 292. This one is okay. Okay, so now here, um, this one, if it is fixed, then okay. But if this one is something like a uh, uh, project, this one, you can delete this one and then you can put that one on the project name. Okay. The other one was not also not fixed. Hmm? Uh, this one is also fixed. If it is fixed. No, no, no. I mean, the, the, the other one was not fixed as well. Who? Oh. Yeah. Okay. If it is fixed, then. But uh, actually, it's uh, the template is only for the project. It's only for this ah, project. Pro okay. It's okay. So, so we we do something like this. Okay. Now. We just, uh, I, I'm going to uh, save this one and save it to uh, uh, COP. COP? What is COP? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, because this morning I have a training and we are doing also oh, this one. Also there's this a one, yeah. in, Indo, Indo COP. What is COP? So that one is a title. Yeah, there. yeah that's, that's the title one. Is like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I'll save that one. <laughs> save, it. save it and then I'll close it. Okay, now. Let's let's do this one. So now I I want because this one, actually this one is a. This one is a. A zero. So you want to put that one in a three? Then I must change this one to. I must change this one to a three. So let's say for example this one is specified size is, four ten by, two eight seven two nine seven. A3. But I need to rescale this one to a small one. Right? Because I, I use the specified size. But anyway, let me just uh, go through this one so that I can do something like this. Okay? Because. Okay, maybe I'll just. Uh, maybe I'll just delete some, some section first and then then leave it like this okay so i'll save it now i need to create now the template okay so for the template i must go to this editor and then uh, template editor all right and then new graphical template then okay so graphical template i just need to make this one zero 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 and then click okay and then here I'm going to use now the uh, drawing. This one. All right. So remember, we created the AutoCAD. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I don't need to repeat that one. All you have to do is to import it here. Just simply use the uh, insert file. And then I need to go to the uh, where is the model? I, where did I save the model? Training. 
Adi, wrong spelling. Cop, okay. Okay? okay. And then click. So remember, I have I already scaled that one. One is to one. So one is to one scale, and then click OK. Ah, oh, I have some polyline issue because of this. And. Yeah, because of that. So what I'm going to do is... So you need to be careful on that one. Huh? Because of this one, I have to ungroup and then delete this one. And then this one crop left side. And then crop right side. And then right click crop component height. And then save this one as... Save it to the tecla structure your model go to your model adi and then here i will put here uh uh the the cop okay same and that's it as simple as that so now i want to call that one here in the drawing layout i'm going to create now the uh adi drawing okay add Add the drawing, table layout, A3. Add, select this one, and then this one is 5, 5, 5, 5, and then update. So A3, and then click tables, and then add the cop. It's already there because I put that one in the model folder, okay? <coughs> and then put it here, and then see this one. Click that one, and click that one. It means on the right side. Position, Position yeah? Apply, okay, <coughs> apply, okay, apply. Remember, add the drawing A3. So here, in this case, I can just simply double click on that one, open it again. Okay, so here, I'm going to Add the drawing, specified size, 410 by 297. I don't know if the 297 is correct because I put 292 earlier. So A3 and then modify. Yeah, there you go. So I have 297. If this one is 29, maybe plus 5, 297 plus 5, 302. Okay, Al almost. Okay, so I have now this uh, this drawing. So here you have now this. Now the bar bending schedule. Again, the bar bending schedule. Okay, maybe this one is one drawing, and then the other drawing is only for the bar bending schedule. Correct, because it's too many. So let me create a simple bar bending schedule. Okay, so what I will do is. Uh, say yes so in this case here I can copy to a new sheet sheet number one without the bar bending schedule and then sheet number two so I, I copy again so sheet number two this one I'm going to put the bar bending schedule in this sheet number two okay there you go but now before before doing that one I must need to do you have a some do you have a sample given to me with the bar bending schedule no oh yes <coughs> ah excel you don't have the the line because i need to to uh to copy this line now no but the, uh, their line is in the excel not in the autocad yeah. uh, we can use that click that one click that one I, I want only the line. The the line. Yeah, I, I want only I want only Ah no, this yeah, the, the line is not using Excel but the, he wants to use the AutoCAD for the line. Yes, so that I will not going to to <coughs> copy that one. But anyway it's okay. I will uh, I will just uh, <sighs> 
Terus dari Pocket ya Di sana Eh dari Exxon Oke okay. It's uh, Never mind I will I will just simply uh, uh, Create this one So here I'll close this uh, I'll create a new one Graphical template Okay So here I'll have to Close this one And then this one Will have a uh, <coughs> zero zero okay <sighs> so how many lines one two three four many or number of members what is number of members number of members number of, uh, number of members is uh, because the the drawing is symmetric if the if this uh, if this bar is same with this so we multiply by two so we have two members in that in the uh, in the rebar um, no th that one cannot be done in uh, maybe in maybe just the number of bar maybe number of bar uh -huh. yeah because this one no need for you to do that one yeah. because that one is manually yeah. Yeah, man, one. this one will be automatic so yes. it's much more uh, much more easier mm -hmm. huh? okay so um, one two three four five okay um i, I may not uh, go through all okay but uh here i'm going to uh add a uh, this one and then let's say i'm going to change the width to 300 all right so here let me just add now a uh, line I'll take a snap so one and then copy uh, number is uh, <coughs> base it's 10 and then uh, bar mark could be 15 and then uh, profile of bar could be uh, 10, 20, 30 or even more <coughs> and then uh, profile of bar and then uh, eh? what, what, what is this uh, bar mark and then ah okay bar mark and then this one is the type and size I mean the grade and the uh, grade and then the size right yeah. okay yes. sorry Okay, three, and then uh, number of bar, another three, and then uh, uh, this one is the length A. Maybe we can change the type and size is the, the, the diameter only, the diameter of the rebar. It's okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can. I can also do this one, this D10. So let's say I'll just put here the the length, and then. Maybe some the other I, I will just give you the uh, then then let's say this one is uh, uh, the <coughs> and then the weight weight of each one and total weight for the meantime this one huh? and then the other uh, I remember there is a default already you can follow that one but I'm just going to show you this to save some time okay so here I can now. Uh, click and then uh, click this one okay. what okay now so here I can you I can add this one as let's say bar bending schedule okay okay I'm going to okay wait I will need to add now another row this one this time is for the rebar okay and then I need to control G or let's say cap group and then copy this one 
and then paste so that one need to be aligned okay <clears throat> so right click and then crop left side right click crop right side and then right click crop component height and then right click crop component height okay so this one i'm going to remove now the uh, snap so here this one is bar bending and then here aerial let's say this one will be three one okay apply and okay so this one is the bar bending schedule <coughs> okay so now i can now add the name in this case by the way this one i need to to make bigger and then this one need to make it a bit smaller crop component height crop component height okay so now first one is number okay maybe I change this one to Right. Then the next one, copy. This one is the rebar mark. Bar mark. <coughs> this one is the, you call it rebar profile. And then this one is the uh, type and size. Okay. And then uh, next <laughs> is uh, number number of bar, right? Quantity. <coughs> Quantity. Like, uh, length. And then this one is, uh, um, single single weight this one is all right um, da -da -da. okay there you go so now let's start with the number Number is, ah, okay, this one is the quantity. Number is the, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, so here, if you want to make this one straight, align to the bottom, it will be aligned. So now here, um, this one must be um, serial number or what's that one? Row in page. Click OK. So row in page must be, how many maybe four up to 1000 and then change this one to two and then center all right bar mark bar mark is it depends huh? because the bar mark could be a Rebar position uh, or the name? The, 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 in this case, it's the name. The name. The name of the rebar. Okay, the name of the rebar. So, in that case, I will just use the name of the rebar here, which is rebar name. As simple as that. Okay? The rebar profile is this one. This graphical. I don't need to do anything. 
as 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 it is. Okay, maybe I will change only the uh, the font size to make it smaller. Let's say here, font size, capital letter and small letter. Then let's say 1.2. Click OK and then apply and OK. There you go. Now the type and the size. Mm, ascending. Okay, the type and the size will be here. I'm oh, sorry. The name will be no no. Okay, the type and the size will be the grade. Here will be the grade. Uh, where is the grade? Grade 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 grade. This one. Okay, but of course I need to change this one to three, and then I need to get the formula plus plus, and then you have the dash, right? So plus double asterisk dash plus. And then here, I need to get value. And then this one must be rebar size. And that's it. Check. Formula is correct. Click OK. Uh, for, apply, and OK. So there you go. And then quantity. Quantity will be number of bar. So here you can see here number of bar then none and then sum all rows apply and okay so this one also none so the reason why i remove the ascending so that it will not be sorted out according to this it will sort out according to the this number okay and then length so look for the length and this one is weight But again, this one, total weight, could be copy and then paste here. But again, this total weight must be multiplied to the quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay? So here, I need to go to this formula, remove this one, and then get formula quantity, which is number, oops, sorry, number times get formula Wait, check. Okay, formula is correct. Click OK, apply, and OK. So there you go. So now select this and then align bottom and then save. Save it to Adi. 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 Here. So Adi. BBS. All right, done. So now, the question is, um, this one is only one. Then if you want to have two columns, okay, let me show you this one is only one. Huh? So save. Okay, so now, if I go to my drawing properties, drawing layout, so add the drawing, A3, and then here, sorry, this one, A3, BBS add right because this one is for the BBS mm -hmm. so table so add the cop that one and then add the BBS <coughs> so this add the BBS will be based on the uh, on the drawing frame and then at the left side and then this one and then update okay apply and okay by the way this one I need to change this one the uh, output area must be 500 ah sorry 297 maybe mm, 290 okay so save right so now um, apply, okay, apply, and okay. So, in this case, here, this one is A3, then this one, this one, I must move this one here, because I don't need the drawing, but I need, I need it for the bill of material. So, here, I'm just changing this one, A3, BBS. 
and then modify there you go so as you can see here it's quite a lot right but so you can see number one two three four five rebar r20 your yours is the quantity two the length is 200 uh single weight um no there's something wrong with my weight so maybe i need to here number two apply and okay this one will be weight this one should be uh apply and okay and then save and then open it again so that one will have a point because the weight must have a decimal yeah see here 49.99 okay much more clearer but again the question is hey i need to i need to show that one in let's say three columns because this one is uh too too large okay so in that case here again you know already how to create one it could be two could be three but in this case uh what is the size of this one width is 150 so in, in three it will be 450 so in that case here i will put here 450 right and then here just double click on this and then use column minimum three maximum oh minimum one maximum three so the spacing will be zero maybe uh start from top left okay horizontal file direction ah field direction is vertical and then continuous click ok apply and ok there you go and then save all right you get it so right click a uh, double click and then here use column edit and fill this one right, and okay now once you save that one so you need to reopen this but again this one is quite big but anyway it's okay i i can uh no 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 i i can uh, change that one maybe i'll change that one now before i reopen it close it and then i will change the scale a little bit so uh, if that one is uh, 410 so okay so i need to create this drawing and then here bbs table so this bbs i'm going to put a a little bit of scale 0.75 maybe update apply and okay apply and okay apply and okay so now reopen okay is this the one <sighs> right something like this but i forgot to copy this one to that to that one okay this one the reason why it's like this because of the uh it, it's not big enough it's not big enough because there's many bending on this one okay so we just increase that one later okay but uh if if i may okay maybe i'll just correct this one so here i'll uh, select uh okay group so copy and then paste a hey. mm. and then paste hey. hmm. Uh, 
this one you need to be careful on this because it's uh, anyway it's a small thing so crop component type All right so there's something here ungroup uh, which is 2.5 apply Ah, uh, and group. What? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll just uh. Change this one to 2.5. Anyway, you can just simply correct that one. Eh? Alright, so now I save it. But again, this one, maybe I'll change the uh, uh, the size a little bit smaller. Eh. I put the, uh, the font size here. Eh? Maybe I did not... Uh, save and add okay apply and okay save so now let's open it again yeah so here yeah because of because of that because of that bending right yeah so here you have this uh, <coughs> so now there you go so no need for you to do that one in <coughs> in uh, Excel this one imagine I remember uh, I know that when you do that one in Excel you must measure it one by one but here no need of course you need to check to to counter check but here okay when you when you uh, when you print this one outside the border will not be printed this one is just for to get this but of course here previous so this one is the detail and then the next drawing will be the bar bending schedule okay any any more question <laughs> he wants he, he, he wants to go home already okay i will save the model and then the template and then the video and then i'll put that one on can you can you give me your uh yeah uh yes i'll i'll so the uh the the um, the template is already inside the model. Okay. <laughs> ah, all right. Uh, save and then uh, here.